Hi everybody, this is Randy from Randy's Crafter Creations, and I wanted to come to you today to show you how I was making this card. Uh, it occurred to me while I was making it last night that I haven't done a video in a while, and that I was using a simple but cute technique of paper piercing. Paper piecing. So I decided to go ahead and make a video for you today to show you how I made this card. Um, the supplies I'm using today are our Gingham Gala um, DSP, which is back in stock, thankfully. Um, I love it. I've been using it this whole time. It, it will be in, available in our Occasions catalog through June 3rd, um, as long as supplies last. So I know the warehouse was just stocked again because my back ordered paper shift, and, and I'm happy because I, I love this paper. And I am just using um, random pieces because they're bright and springy, okay? So I'm using that for my cards. I'm using scrap pieces of Highland Heather, uh, Granny Apple Green, and Daffodil Delight because they work with, um, even though there's Lemon Lime Twist in this gingham paper, um, the Granny Apple Green is a really good accent. I'm using Thick Whisper White as my card base. I am, uh, I used my, I don't know if you can see it, my stitched rectangles here as the base that I'm stamping my uh, pot on to hold my paint brushes. I'm using the Crafting Forever stamp set. I'm gonna move those over there. Uh, I'm gonna keep using, I think, the uh, Gorgeous Grape ink, even though I'm using the other colors, but I, I might change my mind, we'll see. But anyhow, on this one I use the Gorgeous Grape ink. I use my paper snips uh, for my Stampin' Blends. I use Light Lovely Lipstick, Dark Pineapple Punch, Light Highland Heather, Light Granny Apple Green, Light Smoky Slate, and Dark Pool Party. So we'll go ahead and we'll use those in today's video. So I have already stamped for you in my Memento Black Ink, since I'm going to color it with my Stampin' Blends. I've already stamped my main piece in my stitch rectangle. And then what you do is you stamp it again on a piece of your designer series paper. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and fussy cut this out. So I'm going to get my paper snips. And when you're fussy cutting, if you move your paper more than you move your scissors, you'll get a nice clean cut. So I'm going to turn my paper. I'm just going to move my scissors around. I'm sorry, move my paper around and not move my scissors until I get to ending points. And back around there. All right, so there's my flower pot. Now our gingham gallop paper, uh, we have the teeny tiny gingham on the one side and the bigger gingham on the other. And for the pot anyway, I wanted to use the smaller. So now let's go ahead and let's color this in. All right, and I'm using my blends. You can use your Stampin' Write markers. It really doesn't matter because we're not like, doing a huge area where we're doing a lot of blending. Um, but so I'm going to do the tops of my paint brushes in the light smoky slate, top of my X Acto knife, and the handle. Uh, top of the paintbrush, top of the paintbrush. Just like all my paintbrushes I have upstairs. And coloring these won't take very long at all. Very light touch. Very light touch. All right. So that's my smoky slate. And now I'm just going to randomly do um, the handles of my brushes using all of my colors, just randomly. Um, the only one I'm purposely making the yellow is the pencil. Um, anything else, like I said, is just, just random. Not a whole lot of coloring involved, but nice and bright, which I love. I'm so glad that the weather is starting to turn here on the East Coast and be nice. here. 
And you can put that piece down before or after you color, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, I need a green. This one's going to be green. And by default, this one's going to be green. And I did miss a piece of this one because the handle is down there still. So I need to make that pink. There we go. All right. So we've got that done. Let's go ahead and get our snail adhesive. And we will adhere. Come on. Oh, huh. well, that one's out. Okay. I'm fast fuses here on my table. So let me just go ahead and use that. Come on. There we go. All right. Yes, Fast Fuse is retired. Um, I'm just using it up. All right. So we've put that piece on the bottom. That's great. So let's go ahead and move that aside. And I'm going to move this one over. All right. So I'm going to get another thick Whisper White card base. And this is a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock cut in half. So it's five and a half by eight and a half. Scored it four and a quarter. And I don't know what color I want to put down this time. I want the yellow, the blue, the purple again. I'm going to end up using them all because I'm making a bunch of these. Um, I'm going to do the green this time, I think. And I'm going to turn it over so that um, the bigger gingham is... Um, Showing this time, and I'm just going to adhere that there. Okay, I'm adhering this flat because I'm going to pop up my sentiment. And I'm going to adhere, adhere this in here. I just love this gingham paper. I've used it on so many things. All right, so let me go ahead and get a scrap of white. Um, you can tell I was making birthday cards earlier in the week. And I'm still going to do this in the Gorgeous Grape. And I'm using a scrap, and I'm going to stamp it right here, because I'm going to punch it out. So I can use a scrap. Shouldn't matter that that's crooked, but we'll double check. And I'm using my lovely label punch. Let's see. Nope, see, it doesn't matter, because I can just turn it. Do something creative every day. Great. So I've got that there. Okay. And now I'm going to take a piece of my granny apple green, and I'm going to punch that. All right. And we know it's the same size. Now it's going to take my paper snips, and I'm going to cut it in half. All right. And I'm going to adhere it to the back of this piece. So let me put some adhesive kind of sort of in the middle. But I want it to be offset, so I'm going to adhere it from the front. So I can see. So we're going to offset that there. And offset that's here. And this is how you can get a nice, simple shadow for your punches just by doing punching it again cutting it a little bit and making it a little offset isn't that nice all right let me get some dimensionals because i'm going to pop that up so i've got my stamp of dimensionals and i'm going to put it on the sides but towards the bottom peel that up and pop that down there and then we have another nice, springy, creative card that you can send to your customers, your friends, um, someone else that likes to craft. Um, these are my customer thank you cards for March. So for anybody that orders from me, I go ahead and I send you homemade thank you cards as a token of my appreciation. Um, if I see you in person, I will try to give you your thank you card in person and not mail it. But um, 
but it's just something fun. And this is a great way to go ahead and use up your paper. So like I said, I had been using this gingham. I made a whole um, cupcake note card series right here. And so this was the one half of the paper and I didn't throw away the other half that got cut off and I kept them to use and um, I'm using them like this. So I love, I love, love, love the six by six paper. Anyhow, um, that's available. We are still, it is March 29th. We still have two days left for Celebration uh, 2019. If you've shopped Celebration, you know what good deals there are. Lots of freebies to earn. If you haven't, please check out my Facebook page, Randy Collins. Uh, I'm sorry, Randy's Crafty Creations on Facebook. Uh, you can check out my blog, Randy Collins. I'm sorry, Randy's Crafty Creations. Dot com. If you check out my Stampin' Up! page, that is randycollins.stampinup.net. And if you want to email me, that is also randycollins.247 at gmail.com. And I'll have all that listed below. Um, so forgive my stuttering. But celebration, you can earn some fabulous free things. Uh, there's a couple more days to that left. Uh, also, if you love Stampin' Up! products and you love to buy Stampin' Up! products and you would like to shop at a discount... You can go ahead and if you don't have a demonstrator, please sign up and join my team. This way you can go ahead and earn a wonderful discount um, off your very first order after you sign up. And our kit is a wonderful deal right now. Uh, $175 worth of product for $99 plus tax, no shipping. So literally for $104.95, you get $175 worth of product. So again, if you're interested in that, contact me. But I wanted to come share these with you and I hope everybody is enjoying a lovely spring day and our horrible winters are, our horrible winter weather is over at least, at least for now. So again, thanks for watching. This is Randy from Randy's Crafty Creations and have a great day.